Head underwater, I'm falling back into you. I thought we'd be smarter, I got nothing left to lose. You said you fall with me, no matter how far it goes. Now deep and under. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my Lunar New Year Luxury Haul video part two. If you caught part one, you'll know that I did mention that I thought the video was gonna be a little bit too long to include everything. So I did decide to split it into two. So I am sharing with you everything else that I got. I also have a couple of full price items in here, a few high street items, just really a little bit of mix of everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. I did quickly wanna answer a few questions about the sales that are ongoing. So in terms of the end day, Dates. They all have different end dates, but as far as I know, most of them are either ending on January the 31st or February the 1st. I think that's the vast majority of them anyway, so only live for a couple more days. And yeah, I did get a request to do a mod shot of the Valentino belt, so I will do a cutaway of that now. Um, this one is included in the Louise Via Roma cell, so you can get 15% off this. It is a reversible one, and it's just the most durable thing. I love my Valentino belt so much, and they're often excluded from discount codes now um, so definitely a good one if you're waiting to grab this one at a discount they do have a few different sizes as well and widths so depending on what you are after um, mine is the thin one but they also have like a thick one they have different colors like all kinds of different variations so again I'll pop all the details for that in the description section so first up is this adorable dress, and this is from, I think, a fairly new designer, um, but as soon as their collection launched, I just absolutely love the aesthetic. It's all these kind of floral prints. I believe everything is made in Colombia, and they're just the most beautiful items. And um, so it's called Agua by Agua Benita, if that's how you say it. Um, apologies if I butchered that pronunciation, but I think that's how you say it. It is so beautiful and it came in its own dust bag, which I don't think I've ever had a dress that came in like a full on dust bag. I've had dresses that have come in like those kind of um, like zip up sleeve things, but not an actual dust bag. This looks like you just bought a really, really fancy handbag. I feel like you could actually use it as a pillowcase if you wanted to. Um, yeah, I was super impressed by that. And the dress is just stunning. So it's this gorgeous strapless mini dress. Um, absolutely bought this for our trip. And it has this lovely kind of ruffle trim on the top there. It cinches in at the waist with another ruffle detail. And then it is fairly short, but not like crazy, crazy short. You have a decent amount of volume in the skirt as well. It is fully lined. And I just thought this was so beautiful. The print is kind of like a little bit retro but not too much and you have all kinds of beautiful colors and all of their pieces are like very very vibrant and they're just beautiful so this has like blues it has oranges and yellows and reds and pinks and just so many different shades and I'm just so excited about my first piece from this line I've been eyeing up the collection for a while as I mentioned they're usually not only just excluded from discount codes but usually they do sell out really quickly so I was beyond thrilled to see that this worked with the discount code I just thought it was so beautiful so very very excited to wear this very soon and then next up, I did get another Anya Heinmarch tote. I mentioned before how much of a fan I am of her line. I do have another one that has yoga on it. They do a few different variations. And I saw this and I thought it was just the perfect beach bag. I love the fact that it is collapsible as well. So it's not gonna take up any room in my luggage. And it's just really, really cute. So it's this lovely kind of dark navy. I like the fact that I think even Dan won't be embarrassed to carry this one. You know, I do have some very, very girly bags. Whereas I thought this was neutral enough that he wouldn't mind carrying it if he had to just says beach on the front there and then you have the Anya Hindmarch little bow detail the strap is lovely it's a kind of um, navy trim with like a white stripe in the middle and then a top color either side you do have the jaw straps as well so you can pop it on your shoulder or you can wear it handheld and then on the inside just like my other one it's very simple and plain there are no pockets or anything it's literally just kind of a canvas tote but very functional very comfortable to wear and just really really useful pieces 
Next up is this striped sweater, which I thought was so beautiful. I am always such a sucker for a good striped top or sweater. I have a few different variations in my wardrobe and the items that I've genuinely had for just years and years and I never get rid of them because they just don't date, you know. They're such classic pieces and I saw this option, I thought it was so beautiful. So it is a sweater, but it's a very, very finely knit one. So really nice for spring, you know, not just for kind of the dead of winter, but I think this will see you right through until it gets very warm warm like very wispy and soft I think it's a cashmere blend yeah so it's 20% cashmere and then 80% wool and you have this great navy base with this white stripe all over so a little bit nautical just really beautiful very very classic and just the softest thing Next up is this absolutely adorable top. As soon as I saw this, I knew I had to try it and hoped it looked as nice in person as it did online, and it absolutely does. If anything, it's even prettier in person. It is absolutely stunning. I love the colors. I think it is so, so pretty. So it has this beautiful kind of um, lavender lilac color theme all the way throughout. It's on an ivory base, and there is just so much detail with it. So you have this beautiful button detail on each side, and there's kind of, I don't want to say corset detail because I feel like that misrepresents it, but it has this beautiful kind of like line detail on both sides. And then you have this lovely little peplum and then these loop details on the hem. Like there's just so much intricate detail on it. It is so stunning. It is linen, which I'm always a little bit cautious of, but it doesn't seem to crease too badly at all. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Like I am so thrilled. I think this would look absolutely beautiful with a skirt. I think it would also look great just with white denim, with denim shorts, just so many different options. And I am just full on obsessed. Probably one of my favorite pieces out of the entire haul. Just the most stunning camisole top. And from very summery to very wintry, um, I do have two fleeces here. I have been eyeing these up for a really long time. I was actually really shocked that they stocked them on Louise Viroma because these are sold out in a lot of colors elsewhere. So I was absolutely thrilled to see them not only in stock, but also included in the discount code. Obviously, it's so excited that I got them in two colors. Um, so the first one is this really adorable kind of um, white fleecy one. And I know these won't be everyone's cup of tea, but I've become low-key obsessed with just really snug ugly fleecy sweaters. I just think they're fantastic and they are so warm and it can get really, really cold in our house. So for me, these are just an absolute lifesaver and I just love them. And I thought these versions were really nice. I've tried some from other brands. Like I tried like a zip up one from Aloe Yoga and I just didn't like it at all. The zip was like plasticky and I just felt like it felt quite cheap. Whereas this one, all the detailing is really nice. It feels really, really substantial, very soft. Um, on the inside it is lined as well. You have a drawstring around the waist and it's just pretty much exactly what I wanted. Um, it is an oversized fit, so if you were looking at it and you wanted something that fit a bit more snug, then I would definitely say to size down, but I like things to be a little bit more oversized when I'm just wearing them around the house and am running. And I just love this one to bits. Um, so that is my cream one. And then I also have this one, which I think is like the mustardy gold color. I can't remember the exact product name. Um, but yeah, this one is so cute, very soft, just like the other one. And yeah, I'm just pretty much obsessed with this whole entire line. Just the most snuggly, lovely fleeces. And then finally from Louise Viaroma, I did get a blazer as well. And I've been on the lookout for something which, if you're familiar with my singer set one, which I wear all the time, I wanted something similar, but just like a little bit more relaxed because that one is like super sharp. So I wanted something that kind of had that same fit, like in terms of the slimness, but not quite as sharp on the shoulders and just a little bit more relaxed on the body. I've looked for so long and I always feel like it's so difficult to find a blazer, which you really, really love. Like I think there are plenty which are nice, but you can't always find one that you absolutely adore decided to give this one a try and I love it it is exactly what I wanted very similar to the singer set one but as I said just a little bit more relaxed so not quite as edgy looking I guess it has the loveliest softest silkiest lining it is so so lovely I do just roll up my sleeves but you can definitely wear it um, with the sleeves down as well you have pockets on the side there and then apart from that it's just a very simple kind of regular tailor blazer on the back, it isn't cinched in, so it's a nice straight back, exactly what I wanted. Just a really nice one to throw on with denim and flats or some faux leather leggings, just really easy going, but like very, very pulled together as well. And I was just over the moon with this, just like exactly what I wanted, very happy to find it at a discount as well. And yeah, just so, so happy with this. 
Next up, I did place an order from And Other Story, so I have three pieces here to share with you, uh, one pair of boots and then two sweaters. Both of the sweaters are more kind of like an oversized sweater. I really want some that are a little bit looser that I can wear with faux leather leggings or regular black leggings. I have a few uh, more fitted sweaters, which I love, uh, but I wanted something just a little bit more oversized and these are absolutely perfect. So this one is kind of like an oatmeal color, just a really nice neutral beige and it is fairly long, I'd say, so it does cover most of your bum. Um, and even though this, I think I got this in extra small, like it's still a very decent, like oversized fit. I got the small as well because I didn't know how close they were going to fit, but actually like it's oversized by design. So extra small worked just fine. And it's just the perfect kind of um, weight and substance. So even though it is quite long and wide, like the fabric isn't overly thick. So it's not like a really chunky one. It's just got that slightly bigger fit, which is exactly what I wanted. It does have a slightly higher crew neck as well and it's just kind of perfect. Very soft and just absolutely ideal for what I was looking for. Um, and then the second one is a little bit shorter, I would say. Um, it is a bit longer on the back, but I absolutely loved the print. So it is another striped one, um, but it's a bit more minimal than the kind of slim fitting one I showed earlier. So it is a very nice, again, more of like an oatmeal color, and then it has this black stripe all the way throughout, but there are only four stripes. So it does make a little bit more of a statement, I think. It has slightly slimmer sleeves, and then it has more of like like a chunkier um, like ribbing at the wrist and then the neckline is just another crew neck which sits just a little bit higher and I love this I thought it's really cute I feel like this is maybe short enough that you could wear it with regular jeans as well you can absolutely wear it with leggings and I just love it so very very happy with my two sweater finds and then finally from And Other Stories, I did get a pair of Chelsea boots. Ever since I got my ones from churches, I just become a little bit obsessed with Chelsea boots. I've been wearing those all the time and I wanted something that had a similar look but was just a little bit higher. Looked at a few different styles and then I saw these and I thought they were fantastic. So this is definitely like a really chunky Chelsea boot. So it does have a very, very substantial sole. These are a great deal cheaper than the churches ones as well because they are definitely really pricey. They have that same hook at the top there so really easy to get on they have that stretchy panel and even though the rest of the shoe is actually like very chunky and substantial the actual ankle bit is quite slim so it does just kind of mold to your foot I tried these only with um, leggings so far but I really love how they look particularly with a chunky sweater I just think it really kind of goes and yeah I'm just really happy with these the leather seems to be really nice quality it's not too shiny but it's not like dull either just a really nice in between a nice kind of grippy sole as well so hopefully they'll be practical as well as cute and I am super super happy with these and they weren't like super cheap but I do think that they seem really good quality so for the price I actually think they were really good value and um, yeah over the moon with these and then finally I did get a pair of shoes from Christian Louboutin. Sadly these ones weren't on sale but I love the style so much that I was very happy to pay full price for them. I always feel like this style sells out really quickly in new iterations and this is basically a combination of my favourite style from Louboutin with my favourite style from Jean-Michel Rossi. So let me show you what I got. Comes in all the packaging so you have the little heel tips. And then the dust bag. And then inside are these gorgeous, gorgeous erasers. So the Ariza style is by far my favorite shoe from Christian Louboutin. I wear my nude ones to death. Like they are so, so used and loved. I just think they're fantastic. And then I saw these ones in the pale suede. And what I love about my Jean Vita Rossi heels is the fact they come in suede. So they are crazy comfortable because they do just mold your feet. And then I saw that they released these in a suede version and I was like, oh my goodness, like I absolutely love them. So it has the classic Ariza style of the cut out detail right there. And then on the other side, it looks just like a regular pump. You have that great pointy toe and then you do have that very high heel. But even though it is like a full on kind of very thin stiletto, I do actually find these to be very, very comfortable for what they are. 
Obviously they're still the boutons, they're not slippers, um, but I absolutely love them. And I thought this combination was just so beautiful. It is a very, very pale suede, but I am planning on spraying these to hopefully protect the leather, albeit like I don't really tend to spray all of my Gianvita Rossi ones and they've also done absolutely fine. Like some I have and some I haven't. And maybe it's because I don't wear them like in the rain and mud, but they seem to do just fine. That said, I'm not gonna take my chance with these because they are very pale indeed. But I love the fact that even though it is pink, I do feel like because it's so pale it can just act as a neutral so hopefully they'll go with everything and I just love them just so so beautiful very happy to snag these um I wish Le Bouton went on sale sadly they never do but nevertheless I just think this is the most gorgeous gorgeous shoe so that is it for this video guys I hope that you enjoyed it as usual I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below along with discount codes I'll also pin everything to a comment if you have any other questions for me then leave me a comment down below and if you like these haul videos please do give this a thumbs up as always thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next one bye guys Something about you feels so different makes me wanna risk it every time I look at you